You know, the seasons are changing pretty fast, especially up in the north. Not too long ago, it was summer, but now fall has crept in and we're looking at the gloomy days of autumn. But before you know it, it's gonna look like this. Just like that, the snow flies and we get instant winter. So what should you pack for a day hike in conditions like this? Stick around and I'll show you. Just getting to the park. It's a very kind of a foggy, icy day. Very busy, there's a lot of people here. But it should be a good time. Feels like it's been a little while since I've been here. I'll try to come here, I don't know, once a week, once every other week at least. But uh, ugh, I've been busy. I'm taking trips and working and blah, 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 blah. But it's nice to finally get out for just a little day hike. It's, it's pretty chilly. It's probably about 20 degrees right now. But it's supposed to warm up quite a bit today. see the sun really wanting to poke out through the clouds. Well, it just occurred to me, you didn't know, I got a new car. After totaling my last one on that road trip through Missouri and I smashed that eight point buck, finally got a new ride. Check this out. time of the year it's uh late february actually it's the latest in february you can ever get because today is the 29th of february so happy leap day to all of y'all out there there's a lot of melting a lot of freezing in the day daytime highs are like in the in the high 30s 40s so things start to melt but overnight temps get way below freezing so there's all this melt and freezing melt and freezing and um creates a lot of ice so that's why when I'm going on day hikes or if I'm gonna walk anywhere in the winter time, I use these yak tracks. Now these are the yak track pros or something like that. I'll post like kind of a description over here. They're a lot more durable. There's metal chains and, and metal cables and all these little multi-faceted little diamond looking things. These offer so much better traction than the standard yak tracks and they're a lot less aggressive than crampons because crampons they're a little over the top for just this kind of stuff but these things are awesome i'll put a link to where you can get these down in the description but for winter hiking on any kind of ice these will keep you upright and not on your ass just a little ways from the parking lot and it's cold my my face is cold That's why I always usually bring a buff of some sort. Wrap it up around your face. But what I really like about buffs, and I carry these on day hikes, on backpacking trips, everything. I mean, you can use it, makeshift, you know, uh, head scarf or whatever. Obviously as a neck scarf, but what I usually do, especially when I'm sleeping in the winter time, pull it up all the way over my face and it protects this whole area and you can breathe right through this stuff. In the cold, this stuff will, you know, have a little frozen patch of where your breath came, but you know, it's, it's all right, that works out well. And when I'm actually doing the hike, I wear a lighter weight beanie. You know, I'm bald, I don't have much natural insulation up here. So I have this alpaca wool beanie by Appalachian Gear Company. This is the Darwin on the trail addition because I'm kind of a fanboy <laughs> but this is okay to get all sweaty while you're moving uh, and it dries out really quickly but while I'm on the move for sure and if and for added protection if you need it always wear a hoodie so but I'm gonna protect my face right now with all that melt that I was talking about it's so icy down these steps they literally just closed it off 
because I'm sure a lot of people have fallen, slipped, and maybe broken things, who knows. I could go around and switch back it. This is a lot shorter. And I got my fancy, my fancy yak tracks on, so I'm gonna give it a shot, I don't care. This way be a giant. so bad. It just occurred to me as I was crossing this little stream, this stream drains out into the St. Croix River. I didn't bring any water. It's supposed to go in that pocket and it's all the way up the icy hill in my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cover some of the other basics about what I'm wearing for a day hike in the winter time. I have a North Face hoodie. I've had this thing for 10 years and it's just fantastic. Underneath just a regular old t-shirt. On the outside here, just rocking a Patagonia Micro Puff hoodie. Macro Micro Puff? I don't know, I'll, I'll put it over here. It's one of the, these things. Synthetic works really well. It keeps the, the body warm without overheating me too much. The pants, these are Walmart fleece lined Wrangler technical pants and they're awesome. Darn tough socks, keen Duran boots, fruit of the loom boxer briefs. That's pretty much for what I'm wearing on the walk out to the spot. Oh, gloves. Now obviously any old pair of gloves will work. In the winter time, I usually like something that's got a waterproof or at least a windproof membrane because that does keep your hands a lot warmer. These are seal skins. I'm not sure of the model, but they're lightweight. They got the Prima Loft insulation in it. These are nice, light. Got a little fleece right here so you can wipe your brow as you're hiking. But windproof, waterproof, these things keep my hands, you know, almost too warm but I find myself not using them as much because I'm always filming. <laughs> but gloves, a must out in the winter time, either for a day hike or obviously a backpack trip. Just a short hike in, down the icy hill, back up another hill whole bunch of campsites up on this prairie area and they're all packing campsites there's no driving campsites at this park but there's a lot of ski trails a lot of snowmobile snowmobile snowshoe trails the place is awesome and it's not too far from the house so let's talk about the pack itself this is the REI Flash 22. It's only a 22 liter bag. Now I'm only off on a few hour day hike here. If I was gonna go longer and I needed more stuff, obviously I would get a bag that's a little bit bigger. But for day hikes, this thing has been awesome. It's lightweight, a lot of pockets, a lot of organization. I have a review of this bag. I'll post that right up here. A lot of good information on there. This bag is the same, but this one's just a little bit newer. It's got a couple of uh, improvements in, in my eyes, but it's essentially the same bag. I was gonna hike to one of my favorite shelters here and cook a little lunch and like make a little hot beverage, but I forgot water. There is a well up top. I'm not even sure if it's turned on this time of year. Uh, you know, I wasn't gonna go up there and find out. So this is gonna be the place. In winter, I always bring a sit pad. This is just a Thermarest Z seat because whatever surface you're sitting on, it's just gonna be cold. And this will just help insulate your butt from that cold. Any kind of closed cell phone pad is going to work. I like this because it's compact. It's got a reflective side on it. It's, it's pretty awesome. Inside the bag. Right up top on the zippered pocket lid. I have just a few snacks. I, I carry these little toothpick things. I have them everywhere. They're in my pockets, they're in my bags, they're in my coats, they're in my car. I'm, I'm a weird, I got this weird thing about flossing. So I just carry these everywhere. So 
So if you see these lying around on the ground anywhere, I was probably there. <laughs> uh, a couple snacks. I just have some pork rinds here. High fat, you know, snack for something like this. High calories. And then just my keys. More of these. <laughs> on the side pocket here is a mythical water bottle that I'm supposed to have. I'm really bummed because I'm kind of hungry. I was going to eat this new mountain house pasta meal that they had. So this is going to have to wait for another trip, I guess. In the other side pocket is where I kept the sit pad. Right in front, there's a zipper pocket. I have a battery bank. I'm not doing that much filming today, but you just never know. Um, I would probably suggest at least a small battery bank because if you're out here, something happens and you lose power on your phone, it'd be good to charge it up. It, it takes up no room. Carry a cook kit on my day hikes because like I said, I usually like to eat a meal and make a, a warm beverage. This is just the BRS canister stove with my Tokes pot. You know, it's got the fuel canister in here. Obviously, I'm not using it right now to cook this or make a hot beverage. I got teas and hot apple cider and hot chocolate. Can't do any of this. And a lot of times when I'm hiking, I usually build up a, a pretty good sweat. I always take off the beanie that I'm hiking in. I can tell it's already wet. And I'll bring an extra beanie, dry, a little bit thicker, to help insulate me while I'm at camp. Because once you stop moving, you're cooling down, right? I have some chocolate treats, just as a treat. And then, like I said, while you're cooling down at camp, like, like I said, today was like 20 degrees, but it's gonna warm up. Once I get to camp, I bring my puffy jacket. I bring this everywhere. It packs down to nothing and it adds so much warmth. Another really nice part about this particular bag is on the back panel of this bag, there's a little slot where they keep a little foam pad. It's a really, really thin foam pad, but I've replaced it with this closed cell phone pad. Ah. It's thicker, adds a lot more rigidity to the pack to give it a little bit more form. But when it's really, really cold out, I use this pad to quite literally just put my feet on. It'll help insulate your feet from the cold ground. Because when I'm hiking, I usually don't wear insulated boots, but when I stop and, and, and I'm just enjoying camp, my feet will just get cold if I'm sitting here enjoying a meal. And that's pretty much it. It's nothing overly complicated, very basic things, you know, <laughs> provided if I had some water I, I can make some food and all that kind of stuff um, it's a very popular park I'm not very far from the parking lot and you know I, I could get water if I absolutely had to but kind of bummed that I didn't have it but, you know don't forget your water <laughs> so just like that all the haze and the mist went away severe clear blue Sun, just like that. Man, that's awesome. That's my simple winter day hike loadout. It'll change a little bit here or there if it's warmer or colder out, if I'm expecting snow or rain, obviously. But for a day like this, it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about any of those items, if you have any suggestions on things that I should probably carry, leave those questions, comments down in the comment area. I read them all, I answer them all. I appreciate you watching, and if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there. Hit the notification bell. If you do that, you'll be one of the first to know when a new video of mine drops. It's kind of like the cool kid club or whatever. <laughs> ah. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day. Hope your day is awesome too. See you on the next one.